Hey, hey, everybody. Listen, happy Sunday. And if you celebrate, happy Palm Sunday. Next weekend already, that quickly, is going to be Easter. Well, I'm here today with my tea time moment of the day. Made my own tea. It's just a simple black tea with nothing in it, okay? The diva getting herself summer ready. So this tea time moment is dedicated to none other than Tony Rock, Chris Rock's brother, okay? So Chris, um, Tony Rock, recently did an interview with Big Boy TV. And he pretty much said that Will Smith lied. That Will Smith did not try to contact his um, brother post-Oscar slap, okay, to apologize. He said it simply wasn't true. Now, I don't know if he's just talking about the time period, maybe within a week after the slap, or if he's trying to say just point blank, period, Will Smith never tried to contact my brother and apologize. Now, I'm saying that Tony Rock, I believe, has selective memory, a case of selective memory. I really feel, I highly doubt that Will Smith will be walking these streets saying he tried to call Chris Rock and Chris Rock just was not ready to talk to him. Now, if we want to debate the time period in the days, I'm with that. Let's debate the time period, the days. Maybe it wasn't 24 hours or 48 or 72. Maybe it wasn't even seven days. Maybe it was months. But to say he never tried to contact Chris Rock at all, I don't know. I'm having trouble believing that. I feel like Will Smith did. And maybe Will Smith had to call his people, uh, meaning Chris Rock's people, so that they could talk to Chris Rock. And then they got the message back to his people that Chris Rock said no. Now, Tony Rock also mentions in this interview he did with Big Boy TV that he has the same number. His number never changed. And that, you know, Will Smith, although he didn't have to call him, you know, he was expecting maybe a phone call. Well, first of all, Tony Rock, I don't know how close in contact before the slap you and Will Smith was. Just because your number didn't change doesn't mean his number didn't change and that he still has your phone number. And my thing is, if your brother doesn't want to speak to him, if he got word back that your brother, the person he offended and in harm, um, doesn't want to speak to him, why would he remotely think that he can call you and you would want to speak to him? So my thing, the way I feel about Tony Rock is this is, this is no shade. Before the slap, I didn't hear that much about Tony Rock. And now I feel that Tony Rock is using the slap to propel his career in comedy. Because everywhere, every interview, every place he goes, he's talking about this slap. And he's talking about it more than his brother, Chris Rock. Now, Tony, because I watched the whole interview. To be fair, I watched the whole interview. And I will say this. Tony did say in this interview that one is nine of them all together. So their mom had nine children and the father always taught them, you stick up, you are your brother's and sister's keeper. You stick up for family. If your brother's in a fight, you're in a fight. He said he spoke to Chris Rock the day that it happened and Chris Rock told him, I know how you are, chill, we're good. He said, I know you over there plotting revenge, but he said, chill, we're good. So if your brother tells you to chill, we're good, why are you going around putting this thing in your comedy sketches and talking about it every single moment you can? Now, when I watched the interview, and I'm going to show you a piece of it, can't show you the whole thing. You got to go to Big Boy TV and watch it, okay? Watch this whole interview. Um, I'm going to show you the piece that I want to talk about, and I will say this. I get it. He said, it's my brother. I get it. My brother's hurt. I'm hurt. Okay. So I get that piece of it of him saying that, yeah, I have the right to be mad. I have the right to speak on it because it's my brother. But you, and, and that may be so. 
But can we, um, it's a whole year later, it's 365 day, um, days later. Can we, you know, die down with talking about it just a little bit? And maybe check into it a little bit more before you stand 10 toes down saying that Will Smith never tried to contact your brother to apologize. OK, so let's share a screen. And you know what? Well, let me share a screen first and then I'll, I'll, I'll close out with my final words. Hold on my second here. Let's share this screen. OK, and so I, I queued it up because it's a 51 minute interview. I queued it up to the 30 minute mark. He says a lot of good stuff um, that has nothing to do with the slap. You know, it has to do with his own career um, growing up and all of that. So it's a great interview. But I queued it up to the point where they asked him about the Oscar night and the slap. So let's hear a little bit of this. With your brother, Chris. Uh, like, the are special you, or? No, I'm talking about at the Oscars. OK, so. I tell the story a lot. People don't believe me. I don't watch the Oscars. I don't support the Oscars because the Oscars don't support black movies. Right. I see great black movies every year, and I think that has to get it. That has to be a right. nomination. And they don't even mention it. Hey, Amen. And, 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 and I, I want you to continue, but I don't watch the Oscars either, yeah. right? The reason why I watched the Oscars in real time that night was King Richard, and I was ready to see Will get his moment. That's the only reason I okay. was watching that night in I real thought time. about watching because it was a black production. It was the yeah, first year man, come ever on. that they let black people produce. Yeah, I, I don't think a lot of people that, that that went over a lot of people's heads. Right. That this was the it first was a, year in the highest uh, award show in the industry. Right. This is the, the grand mm -hmm. the grandest award show in the as far as the industry is concerned that they let blacks mm -hmm. run the whole show. Yeah. That's why what happened was more disappointing. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyway, I was home watching the NBA package. I don't <laughs> right. watch the Oscars. I was watching like, not even a game that was really, like, right. I was yeah. watching like the Portland Trailblazers. Right. And, and, You're like and the, the Supersonics. Yeah, There's no like, Supersonics. Yeah, I was watching, I'm just in the house eating Cheez-Its. Right. Like, okay. And my phone starts going crazy. Mm. Let me paint a picture for you guys. All of my family lives on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. Everybody's back East still. So when you, my, my phone starts going crazy, as a black person, you think. Something's going on. Something happened. Somebody's yeah. in something yeah. bad. So now I'm looking at the phone like, damn, am I ready for this phone call? Am I ready to take? I'm thinking about my mother. Yeah, man. I'm like, damn, something happened to mommy. I'm not I, I'm not even prepared to take this phone call. And I see my little brother Jordan calls. And I'm like, okay, I could at least take some bad news from family. And I answer the phone like, what's, yeah, what's up? And he goes, was that real? I'm like, was what real? You didn't see that? No, nah, I see what? I'm sending you the link. And he sent me the link. So I saw it 40 minutes, 30 minutes after you guys did. Wow. Because it had to circulate social media and everything and before he saw it. And then he called me, and I had been ignoring the phone for 10 minutes. So when right. I saw it, you guys had already, the world was already talking about it. So I saw it, and I thought, what the hell? And I text, text my brother's guy, and I'm like, you know, what's going on? He's like, yeah, man, I don't know. It's crazy. Did you hear him? He didn't say he texted his brother. He said, I text my brother's guy. So if you have to text your brother's guy when something happens to your brother, can y'all accept that Will Smith probably had to go through other people to get to Chris Rock, to apologize to Chris Rock, and maybe the other people blocked it or the other people are saying that Will Smith never uh, uh, reached out but Will Smith did. He had to get through people to get to Chris Rock. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? If his own brother, Tony Rock, had to text Chris Rock's guy so that Chris Rock can call him, let's continue. I'll talk to you later. And, you know, being the brother that I am, who yeah. I, the, it's so weird that people are always like, Rock, Tony Rock, keep talking about that for clout. I don't need to talk about it for clout. It's my brother. Say it. It's my brother. I've been doing stand-up for 25 years. Why would I need to talk about this for clout? Yeah. It's my brother. You guys don't have siblings that you care deep. I love my family more than anything in the world. So why would I not be offended by something like this happening? Mm -hmm. So I called my brother's guy and I'm like, okay, well, where y'all going? Cause I'm coming to meet y'all. Yeah. Like it's on, well, like, let's and, go. And are you in LA at the time? I'm in LA, I'm putting wow. my sweatpants on and my Timberlands. And I'm like, yeah. let's go. And then my brother calls me like, hey, man, and he, this is my big bro. He's like, I know who you are. I know what you're thinking. Yeah. Be cool. Like, it's cool. Just chill. And I'm like, okay, big bro said chill. So I'm going to chill. Hey, man, and let me tell you, bro, like, I come from a...
So did y'all hear it again? Because I know sometimes y'all be like, diva, diva, diva. Did y'all hear it again? He called his brother Guy. Then his brother called him and said, chill. Now, I this um, um Big Boy TV show is on YouTube. So go there, watch the whole thing. Um, like, subscribe, do all of that. I'm going to skip a little bit, okay? Because, you know, it's, it's sensitive when you're playing other people's stuff. So go there and watch the whole interview. It's a really great interview. I'm going to try to cue it up to the point where he tells us how um, you know, Will Smith never called. Let me see if I can. I, it might be coming up. It might not. I'm gonna see if I can skip to it. So let's listen some more. It's like I said, it's seven kids. My mom, single parent. I come from a very, <laughs> amen. So as a brother, do you want to just go off right then? Immediately. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. And this ain't like tough talk. This is my brother. This I'm not gangster. I'm not the guy that's, yeah. you know, I'm not waving a flag and all. This is my brother, man. My my dad said, if your brother's in a fight, you want to fight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do you immediately, like when, when Chris called you up and he said, be cool, calm but, down. But he said, hey, he said, he said, I know you somewhere plotting revenge. Be cool. Yeah. <laughs> be cool. He know you. And then when he said, I'm going out on the road, I'm going to start these dates. I knew. Oh, okay. He said it's, that the same No, night? that was like later on. It was like, yeah, yeah, later yeah. on, it's like, hey, I'm going to start touring. And like, so you, know, you knew. I knew. Okay, We're going to get him back. All this material. He's going to get him back something. his way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Had you seen Will since then? I have not. Yeah, you, that was a stupid question, not. too, because you're sitting here in front of us. You're not in prison. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Maybe I have you not. I have not. And he, listen, he doesn't owe me anything. People right. keep saying he doesn't owe me anything. I just thought we were better than that. My phone number has never changed, so I just thought I'd get a phone call one day, like, hey, man, let's just, you and I just talk. You know, mm -hmm. it hasn't happened, so I, I guess it's not going to happen. Did you know that the material was coming? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I had heard, I heard, heard snippets. Yeah. I heard snippets. He didn't, he never did. On the special that night, he did it in its entirety. On the right. tour, he would do right. little yeah. snippets of it. You would yeah. hear little pieces, but I didn't know it was going to be that grand. Really? Yeah. Hey, man, would you had waited that long? And it, the waiting time is your waiting time. And I right. thought that it was genius. Could you had said, now, you know what? I'm going to build on this. I'm going to build. I'm going to put something together. Or do you think you, Tony, you, you would have went right? No, I totally. Well, I would have probably, I, I might not have waited. Yeah, you probably wouldn't have waited. With the Oscars had still went on that night? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 that's no, what I, no, yeah, no, I kind of no, figured so. No, yeah. but, uh, but uh, now that I see what he did, right. it was brilliant. Yeah. He, he, it was calculated. It was like, uh, people want to hear my response. Everybody said, had something to say about it, but nobody ever heard from him. Exactly. Every radio host, every podcast, every, you know, news everybody, outlet, social media, everybody, yeah. news outlets, Every morning show, everybody spoke about it except for him. So if everybody's waiting for, to hear me say something about it, you're gonna see hear me say something about it on my time. Right. When I'm ready in my forum. Right. In my gym. In yeah. my boxing ring. Yeah. This is my boxing ring. This is my full court. This is where I play. So you hear it on my terms. And so his I, audience is grand. Right. Like I get people that'll run up on me and be like, Big, what do you feel about? It? I'm like, bro, if I want to address that, I have a show. Right. That hits millions of people, bro. Like. I don't need to say it right, right there. So I can see where Chris was coming from. That's why from people that. do stuff on their social media. It's like, I have 400,000 followers. I'll do it. And they just said, keep it going. I saw that. Mm -hmm. Man. You know, I saw that he still, my brother had to keep his composure. And like you said, my, my parents told us don't front, fight in front of white people. But uh, mommy would have had to be mad that night. Yeah, yeah. Mommy would have been mad that night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. So, and, and I don't know where where it goes to from there. It's not my business. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm on the outside looking in. Of course, you're way more connected to it. But even when I saw that one time when Diddy was like, they talked, and you was like, no, they didn't. Talk. Oh yeah, that was yeah. And that that uh, I reached out to him. He didn't want to talk. That wasn't true. Right. That wasn't true. That like I think like two nights later he said I reached out to Chris and he didn't want to talk. That wasn't true. That wasn't. Man, true. I'm telling you. But bro. you know, he listen. He said he he did what he did. He said what he said. I don't know where it's going from here either. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop it tour. there. So you heard that he said that um, Will Smith said he reached out in, to him and um, Chris Rock didn't want to talk and Tony Rock is saying that's not so. And I'm telling you, just look at the look at the words that came out of Tony Rock's mouth. The night of the slap, he had to call his own brother's people so that his brother can call him. So why would we not think that Will Smith probably had to call Chris Rock's people and Chris Rock's people probably blocked the phone call and said that, listen, Chris doesn't want to talk to you. 
So why are we saying that Will Smith lied? Do you really know what went down, uh, uh, Tony? When it appears like, do you even have your own brother's direct phone number where you could call him directly or get to him directly? I don't know. And some of you may say, well, um, Diva, it was the night of the Oscars. You know, um, you know, Chris probably didn't have his phone on him. That's why Tony Rock called these people. Okay, we can roll with that too. But all I'm saying is that I feel like Will Smith had to call Chris Rock's people and Chris Rock's people blocked it. But now let's read this article and then I'm gonna give you my final thoughts, okay? It says, Tony Rock claims Will Smith lied about reaching out to Chris Rock following an Oscar slap, okay? That's something together. That's a great picture because they look like they could be twins, okay? Chris Rock's brother, Tony Rock, claims Will Smith lied about reaching out to his brother um, to apologize following last year's Oscar slap. During a recent appearance on Big Boy's um, TV, um, Rock refuted Smith's claims that he called Chris a few days after the incident to apologize. That wasn't true. That wasn't true, Rock said on the radio show. I think like two nights later, he said, I reached out to Chris and he didn't want to talk. That wasn't true. Tony, you don't know that for fact. OK, he doesn't owe me anything. I just thought we were better than that. And Tony added, my phone number has never changed. So I just thought I'd get a phone call one day like, hey, let's just you and I talk. It hasn't happened. So I guess it's not going to happen. Well, again, I say to you, if Will Smith feels like Chris Rock, the person he slapped, doesn't even want to talk to him, why would he think that his brother would? Now, Tony Rock talked about how, you know, he worked for Will Smith at one time. Will Smith put him on. Tony Rock said he was in the movie Hitch. I didn't even realize that or notice that. I would have to go back, look at the movie again and be like, oh, okay, that's him. So he said, um, back in July 2022, Tony maintained that Will Smith's decision to slap his brother stemmed from Jada Pickett's relationship to um with the late Tupac, okay, which I think is insanity. I mean, people have so many speculations as to why Will Smith, you know, slapped um Chris Rock versus they they coming up with anything versus the fact that he was just pissed about the joke. In an interview on the top billing with Bill Bellamy podcast, when asked if he thought Smith Slack was in reaction to Chris Joe about Jada having alopecia, Tony said no. So he's doing all of these interviews. And, you know, of course, they're asking him about it when he goes on these interviews. But he can say respectfully, I decline to answer. He laughed at first. Rock continued. So that's not in, um. So that's not embarrassment. He was laughing. In the time they cut to my brother and cut back, he was already walking up. Um, so maybe it was um, it was the Jada look. Um, according to Tony, the sad has something to do with Jada's relationship to the late Tupac and Will's feelings about it. I think that Oscar slap was the accumulation of him being slapped on other levels, Tony is playing. He said um, in himself, he always hated the soft um, moniker, um, Monica, he's soft. Jada won't let Tupac um, die. It's always something about Tupac and his daughter Willow Smith brought up Tupac. And I'm not bringing up family stuff that people don't know. This is stuff that everybody knows. Okay. So there was another interview he did with um, Bill Bellamy. And I, you know, I listened to part of it, but it's kind of like the same conversation that he had in. Um, this interview with um, Big Boy TV. So I didn't play any pieces of that. That's those two together. So let me stop sharing the screen. So all I'm saying is that perhaps, you know, Tony Rock is having a case of selective memory or perhaps Tony Rock just doesn't even really know the real truth when it comes to Will Smith trying to apologize to his brother. And maybe Chris Rock doesn't even know OK, that Will Smith tried several times to get in touch with him to apologize because maybe all the people surrounded by Chris Rock is blocking it. Somehow, I think Will Smith and Chris Rock need each other's direct numbers and then uh, Will Smith can call him directly and not have all of the background noise of anybody else. So listen, guys, let me know your thoughts. Chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Do you think that Will Smith is lying, okay? That do you think he never tried to reach out to Chris Rock to apologize? Now listen, if he didn't try to reach out, which I highly doubt, he did do a public apology. And I ask this question all the time when this subject comes up. 
what else do y'all want Will Smith to do? And yes, I agree. Chris Rock doesn't have to accept his apology like ever, okay? Um, even though I have other thoughts on that, that, I'll leave that there. But my thought process is right now, what else do y'all want Will Smith to do? And does Tony Rock have the right everywhere he goes to keep talking about this same situation that happened to his brother? Or should he at some point, even if an interviewer asks him the question, should he just say, you know what? I decline the answer. I want to move on from that. It happened over a year ago. Um, let's leave that where it is. And let's hope that in the future, a Will Smith and my brother talk and we can move past this. Nobody's saying they got to be best friends in the movie together, all that. Just talk and let us move past this. Now, and Tony Rock did um, in this interview also say that, you know, all of them had, you know, I can't say close, right? I'm not going to say close because we don't know how close they were or not, but they definitely had a relationship. Well, I'll say close because he said that his brother, Chris Rock, truly, truly loved Will Smith for all the work that he's done in the industry and how, you know, the, he helped different family members, you know, um, in the business. Cause like Tony Rock even said himself, he worked with Will Smith in the movie Hitch. So listen, guys, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, chat with me in the comments and I'll see y'all in the next video.